Hey guys, how you doing today? Something we're going to do a little bit different today. I've been messing around with my guitar amplifier and I noticed on it when I was using it that it has three positions in the back plugs that you can plug in a pedal and activate the built-in effects on this. There's fuzz, there's like an echo, and there's something called chorus. And I like chorus a lot, but I don't use it all the time. I just want to turn it on when needed and to hit these buttons on here is not real great now i don't have the pedals because when you buy an amplifier it doesn't come with them but there's a spot in the back for them and i'll show you where they go so anyway i thought when i seen my wife throw this away this is a sewing machine pedal from a montgomery ward sewing machine an older one and i thought maybe i could use this to interface that chorus and then just click and hold when I need the chorus and then let go when I don't. So anyway, let's go ahead and I'll show you how this is connected to the back and we'll turn the sewing machine pedal into a guitar effects pedal. How cool is that? I'm using this ditto player to play guitar music through the amplifier. What you're hearing right now is clean. No effects given at all. Let's turn on the uh, distortion. So you can hear a little difference there. Here's the chorus that I was telling you I like. difference and then it also has delay or like a reverb I'm not real fond of it but I do like the chorus and the uh, distortion together so let me show you the plugs in the back of this so most amplifiers have this on the back. Here are the actual connectors for the foot pedals, and there's two of them, and they're labeled. And these are for speaker outputs and line and that sort of thing. But uh, let's get a tighter look on these. So you have to buy the foot switch separate if you want it. Otherwise, you got to sit there and press those buttons in the front of this cabinet while you're playing. That's almost impossible. On this first one, it says the T channel. In other words, this is the distortion pedal here. And then this does two functions. This does our delay and our chorus, the one I like. And these look just like regular quarter inch jacks, you know, that plug in, just like a, you know, like a speaker jack. And they are, except they're the stereotype. You can see this has three bands. And what they've done essentially is they've just used, um, quarter inch connectors such as this and they're grounding two wires out to give you the same effect as if you had pushed the switch in the front. Let me demonstrate with that real quick. So back to those special plugs that you got to buy their expensive pedal to make it work. I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, make these work without an expensive pedal. This is just a regular guitar cable, okay. I'm going to plug in one end of it into the uh, chorus jack for my chorus and this is the other end okay I'm gonna take a jumper wire and connect it to the bottom of the quarter inch and then when I come up and touch this top it should kick in the chorus let's start the uh, amplifier here here we go turn it up a little bit. Alright, here we go. That's all it is. When these two are connected together, it uh, activates. Let's do another channel. This is the distortion. I can't keep my 
clip on here. Turn up the distortion a little. So yeah, who knew? It's that simple. All they're doing is they're shorting the two terminals together. Now there's a little twist to this one. There's two items on this. There's the course and the delay. So how do you do two items if there's only two of these? You know, ground and tip. That's when you'd have to use a stereo like this. And there's three. There's ground, there's the ring, and then there's the tip. So depending on if you have it to these two or these two, or both together would give you everything. So let's open up that switch and uh, see if we can connect into it. So this this uh, sewing machine's at least 15 years old, I know for a fact. And this will work on the older ones, but I doubt very seriously if it'll work on the newer ones because they're digital. So if you have an old uh, foot switch from a sewing machine, it should work. Here's what the other end looks like. It has a uh, three prong on one end and there's another end here with a regular household mains plug here. So let's get this open and see what we're dealing with inside here. So what we have here is we have two wires connected to something that looks like a rheostat and that's probably what it is. I see a uh, spring that's pressing down on the top of it and when it gets so far it makes a clicking noise and that's what we're looking for is that clicking noise that means that we're maxing out so when this pedal is pressed all the way down our effect is going to happen and when you lighten up on it it's going to go back to normal so basically all we have to do is remove this cord and connect to these two wires right into our uh, quarter inch phone jack. So you might want to test yours before you do this. It's fairly simple. I have an ohms meter here that I have set on continuity. So when you put the leads together, you know, it makes a tone. So what we're going to do is just put a lead on each one of these terminals and click our pedal down. So almost all the way and it beeps so we can use this pedal just fine if yours does not beep then you cannot use the pedal um, when it almost touches the bottom there's a little plunger here and it's hard to see but uh, there's a plunger take my word for it and it presses the two contacts together so that's how we get that fully shorted circuit So like I said before, all we would have to do is remove these two wires, put on a new wire, and then connect our quarter inch jack. But I think we can use this wire too. Let me get my quarter inch jack that I got at Radio Shack and I'll show you how to set that up. It's pretty simple. Here's the quarter inch jack that I got at Radio Shack and you can get these in stereo or mono. This is a mono one. If it's stereo it has three bands but we're just going to be using the two and then inside you can screw this off and there's two places to solder a wire here and on the tip there and as far as what wire goes where it doesn't really matter so let's take a look at this end of the wire and see what we have to do so I've got a ton of wire here so that's nice Here's that weird end I was telling you about that fits into your sewing machine. Yours might look a little different, but don't worry about it. You can still use it. This end that has the plug on it, we want to cut that off. We don't want any chance of this ever being plugged into the wall. That would mess up your day. So I'm going to follow the plug up to its highest point, which goes into here, and I'm just going to clip that away completely get rid of it we don't need it okay so here's all we're, we're left with here 
and obviously these are the two wires that go back into there right so we're going to go ahead and cut them off too right here at the plug and you're going to want to strip those wires back and turn on your soldering iron you're going to need it next okay so I've unscrewed my quarter inch jack here and I'm going to feed these wires through the insulation it comes with a bit of insulation and it comes with the the back of it you know that you'll screw back on make sure that you put those two items on Okay. I'm going to use these helping hands to help me So what I like to do first is uh, put a little solder on my wire, so I'm going to start with that. By the way, you can actually use these um, foot switches to also power small light bulbs and motors too for speed control. Maybe I'll do that in a, another one if I ever come across another one of these pedals. But you can totally control the brightness of a uh, light if you hook it up correctly alright so again I'm just gonna connect one to there and one to there and I'm not paying attention to what's what you know I'm just uh, it doesn't matter what wire goes where basically is what I'm trying to tell you I mean, this used to be a plug, so the wire is kind of stiff. You just have to deal with it. So you want you want to make sure that your your wires are on there well, and you don't have any stray wires between them. You know, no shorts. And once you're sure of that, you can screw this thing back together. Slide up my sleeve here, my protective sleeve. There it is. If I did everything right, it should work. Let's put our pedal back together here. I'll meet you over there. Here we go. It works. pretty cool now you might want your switch to latch you know so you don't have to keep your foot on and really you could just uh, put a, a single pull single throw switch if you wanted to do that but I like this because the minute you take your foot off it goes back you know So, I hope you like this video guys, I know it's a little strange, but hopefully it'll help when he is out. And uh, if you like it, give us a thumbs up and a comment. We'll see you on the next one.